Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be restoring, tidying up this wee Yatming McLaren M23. So I'm not sure exactly when these were produced. I'm guessing the late 70s, maybe early 80s, but the original car was produced from 73 until 77 so I'm not sure they'd still be making them in the 80s anyway having a closer look at it off of the turntable it's pretty scruffy did have a driver in it but he's missing it's missing some of the sticker on the front there the axles are pretty bent and it's also missing a couple of little supports that stick out and stop the wheels wobbling around so much so it's not the end of the world but there's a little bit of work to do on it so I'll start by drilling out the posts they're really small and they're outies so I had to make some little marks in them with the punch there to get started then just drilling them out and I'll be able to take the base off so just popping the base off of it not the most solid thing in the world be careful not to bend it too much And there's a little plastic engine and the rear wheels and the front wheels and there's the body casting so next I'll use some paint stripper to remove the paint off of the body and this is right at the end of my big tin of paint stripper so it's pretty globby and not really working very well I've actually bought some new stuff since then anyway here it is after the paint strippering and I'll give it a further tidy up with the wire brush on my Dremel and also giving the base a clean up as well it was never painted it's got plenty of oxidation on it so here's the castings looking all nice and clean and shiny so here at the rear you can see where it's missing the little spaces to keep the wheels from flopping around and they were just a couple of little loops so I'll remove the bulk of the remainder of them with a tool on my Dremel and then smooth off the area with a file here So there's also the scoop on the top there that's looking a bit wonky oh, there's not too much I can do about it they're not the highest quality sort of little toy cars in the world but I used my file just to smooth off and straighten up the top a little bit okay so the plan was to drill a couple of holes and then anchor some new loops onto the rear there to space the wheels but, I've, but I was kind of thinking it looked slightly wonky and I kind of went to bend it back a little bit and it just broke so I had to glue it back together with some of the Starbond super glue so now I've made some little loops out of wire there 
one end slightly longer than the other then I've drilled some little holes in where part of the original parts used to stick out and I'll use those and some more glue to anchor the new ones in if I put the base on there you can see that's still got the spaces on it Right, so that's the top pretty much repaired. Now I can give it some paint. So there's a couple of coats of nice fresh white paint. And then I've made some decals. So pretty much just a copy of the original ones that were on the toy. Although I think they were more like a one part sticker, but I don't think I'd be able to apply that in decals and just keep becoming a mess basically. You'll see how tricky it is or fiddly rather just to put on this one side of the decal. Whew, there she goes. So anyway, I'll apply all of those and let them dry. And there are a couple of details in there. I had to put some microsol on like this little scoop on the nose there and the fittings holding the front wheel arms on so here's the little engine the chrome on that's looking pretty scruffy here i have some hot water and some caustic soda I'll mix those together and drop in the engine and about 30 seconds later all the chrome will be gone there it goes dechromed remember not to touch that caustic mixture because it'll burn you so here's the engine after i've tipped away the caustic soda and water given it a good rinse and then i've repainted it silver And finally, here I've got some nice aftermarket wheels to replace the original ones. So not the most complex project in the world. But I think it's a fun little old toy that I'm sure somebody had quite a lot of fun with. There's all the parts tidied up. And while I'm reassembling it, we'll just take a look back at what we started with. Very scruffy looking little Yat Ming McLaren M23 Formula One car. Direly in need of a makeover, so let's see what we can do with it. And here it is after our restoration slash tidy up. I suppose it's not a full restoration exactly. But it's definitely looking a lot tidier with its nice new white paint job and some fresh decals and those cool new wheels on it. Before I go, a big shout out to my awesome Patreon supporters. A big welcome to my newest supporter. And I really hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Marie Marie Braglione Beauvoir. Thanks so much for becoming a supporter. 
And thanks to my Patreons, I've actually finally bought a couple of 3D printers, which you'll start to see in use in some upcoming videos. So thanks heaps for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe for some more similar content and stay tuned after the photos if you'd like to actually see me race a M23 around Monaco. Okay, thanks heaps for staying tuned. So here we are in Assetto Corsa. And this is the 1960s Monaco circuit mod. It's a really nice version of a 1966 Monaco. I think that's probably the closest to 1970s Monaco that there is on Assetto. And this is a McLaren M23 mod. So I've set up a quick five lap race. It's all against other M23s. I did sort of toy with making a whole proper early 70s grid, but there wasn't really enough mods to do it okay so i'm going to start in seventh position there's 12 cars on the grid the lights lighting up and we're off So getting a bit tight here already. Trying to not to rear in that guy. I've slipped past him. A little clip on the back from him there, I think. Oh, look out. Somebody really crashed in front of me. I managed not to smash into them. Oh, we're past that initial scramble. Things are spreading out a little bit. second round there staying right on the car in front's tail look for somewhere to get past it's actually quite tricky to pass on Monaco there's not a whole lot of sections where it's easy button off just a little bit through the tunnel Back on the power, down the hill, through that little chicane, really open it up along the waterfront. See that real rise there around that corner can throw you right into the wall if you're not careful. So coming up to the hairpin here, can I sneak past in the side? Oh, he's sandwiched me off into the wall. I think that slowed him down a bit and I've managed to creep past. So that is a lap of Monaco up into fourth position. So 
So there's a bit of space to make up between me and third place. Oh, there he goes, hitting the curb. Didn't really slow him down much, though. Oh, McCain, he hits the curb. Managing to stay on him, but not really getting close enough to make a pass. Both of us weaving around the track a little bit there. So I'm definitely staying on his tail. Finding a way past is proving tricky. Anyone's interested, I'm using a Logitech G293 wheel and an H shifter. Really enjoy driving these older formula cars. It's really exciting racing. Well, it's usually quite a high attrition rate on the AI on this track, but they seem to be doing pretty well today. Usually watched somebody wipe out into the wall in front of me by now. So they had a bit of distance on me, but I've managed to break harder into that hairpin, make a bit of it up. Yeah, there you go. I'm getting a bit of takeoff from the. Oh, nudging a the curb there. Careful. So not a whole lot of space between the first four cars. I think we're all looking for someone to make a mistake or a chance to slip past. So they are seem to pull away from me on the straights a bit, so I could probably go into the setup and lengthen my gears a tiny bit, I think would help with that. Running the soft tires. And I lowered the front tires pressure just a tiny bit. It's quite a lot of corners on this track, but I haven't spent that much time on the setup. Something's happened there. Slow right down. Alright, so the last lap. If I'm going to do anything, it's going to be on this lap. I don't really think I'm going to get a chance. Dodgy gear change there. I can feel the car sliding around a bit more now. I guess the tyres maybe worn a little bit. 
and I'm just trying to push it too hard. to the waterfront uh, last time. Looks like it's going to be a fourth place. Oh, too much power there. The slid nearly went into the wall. That would have been the end of that. No chance to sneak around on the inside there. So it's fourth place. Great fun racing. Uh, the mods are all free. You can find them online if you've got Assetto Corsa. And thanks heaps for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Check out my other channel where I do more sim racing. I've got a documentary, sort of short documentary about the history of Formula 5000 coming up. Take care and I'll catch you next time.